All right, so in today's video, I will be showing you how to send uh, emails with SendGrid and Node and Express as the back end, and then have React as your front end sending those emails. Um, I expect you to be familiar with SendGrid and being able to navigate and uh, make your own API key. Um, if you don't, I have uh, a video I've made before this with PHP on how to set up your SendGrid account and get your API key for your code. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is we're gonna start with building our server. Um, or not building our server, let's start with the React front end first. So let's go to our command prompt over here. Oops, close that. Our command prompt, and let's create a new React app. So create React app. Um, we'll call this send email tutorial. As that's loading, um, we'll just wait. So yeah, there's going to be two parts for this. There's going to be the React front end, and then there's going to be the uh, Node and Express back end. Um, SendGrid won't allow you to just send emails just from the front end itself. Um, and that's typically, that's typically the case with most APIs. Um, so yeah, as this is loading. Cool, all right, well, let's CD into the send email tutorial. All right, and we're gonna open that in Visual Studio Code. Let's see if I can copy that, there we go. And we're going to open a folder. So folder. All right. So as you can see, we got our node node modules. Uh, we got our the app.js over here. This is basically your head. So let's actually open up our integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code, and we're actually going to start the React app. Um, let's say yarn and start. And as that's loading, all right, well, I'll bring that over here and show you. So as you can see, we just have the basic, um, the basic uh, React starter pack, essentially. So you got the welcome to React, and then you got the logo. And to get started, <clears throat> edit the source.app.js. All right. So let's bring this back over here. And then add this over here. All right. So to get started, let me open up our... I, I do have all of the code in a... Um, in GitHub, and I'll share that link in the description as well. Uh, just like the last video I had on PHP. Um, let's go to app.js. All right. So we're no longer going to need these two things right here. We're going to get rid of that. And we're also going to get rid of everything in here as well. And we should just save that. All right. So... Now that we have the we have the React component imported. All right, so let's start with the code. So with SendGrid, you're gonna need. Uh, I mean, with any email, actually, you're gonna need the recipient. You're gonna need the sender. You're gonna need the uh, subject, and you're gonna need the text or the message. So to do that with React, we'll say we'll create a variable called state, and we'll make every here. Let me change the keyboard to be React instead of this regular JavaScript. There we go. Um, all right, so the email will start, and that will have four variables within it. So there, there will be the recipient, and we'll give that a blank state. There will be the sender, the sender, and we'll also give a blank state. Uh, the subject, blank state as well, and finally the text or the message. And that will be a blank state. All right. So now, um, next thing we want to do is we're going to want to create a function called send email. 
Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a function, like I said, arrow function. All right, so we want to uh, call that state variable. Uh, so we'll call const a constant um, email, and we'll set that equal to this dot state. Um, and then we're going to want to use the fetch uh, API because we're passing, I believe, yeah, we're passing a uh, a get post or a get uh, request rather than a post request. I, I know most people would use a post request in this case, but um, it's only an email. I mean, it's not going to matter too much unless, I mean, with my other APIs with like Stripe, I would, of course, have to use the post method, but in this case, uh, SendGrid really doesn't care much. All right, so let's open up some ticks that we can post to our uh, server later on, um, and we'll just leave that empty right now. Um, <clears throat> wait, no, not empty. We're going to call the HTTP, pro HTTP protocol, um, and we're going to use our virtual server over here, so I'll just copy this link over here. That. All right, and so we're going to create some get variables um, that we'll pass in the query string. And so we'll set this equal to, or let's make something like this, email.recipient. Um, and set this equal to sender, and that will be equal to the variables email.sender, all right, it has another variable called the sender, not sender, I mean, I'm sorry about that, we'll call this topic, which will just be our subject, email.subject, all right, and we'll create the message and we'll call that text email dot, dot text and that should be yeah that should be the end of our query string so yeah that's the end of our query string and we just want to make sure we catch any errors that happen so we we'll just hit a dot catch error equal console dot log here. All right, so now we have that. We can start posting in our render method. So we'll go to our render, render and we'll call this uh, constant. And we'll say, we'll basically do the same thing we did above with email equals this dot state. And I'm actually going to copy all of the um, HTML from my GitHub real quick. So let me do that. So copy. All right, so we got that copied and we'll place that in between our div tags. All right, so as you guys can see, um, we got uh, the variables over here, like the email.recipient, email.sender, and everything. So they're all in inputs. Um, realistically, you would never really have both the recipient and sender like this. Uh, you would probably use like well, the recipient, say you're a company and you have a contact form, you would already have the recipient predetermined, so you wouldn't even consider that. You would just have, hey, what's your email? What's your subject? And what is the message that you have to tell our company? And then you'll have that default uh, email receive um, the message sent by the customer of, or the visitor of the site. So yeah, uh, you guys can play around with this. As you guys can see, I just have uh, 
I've set a parameter called E and then set that equal to um, basically the the state setting a new state for the email dot recipient and then we called that uh, the recipient we set the recipient equal to that uh, parameter E. Um, and I know in React Native, you're not actually not allowed to do this. You have to do it another way. Um, I'll actually show how to do that with React Native in another video coming up soon. So yeah, so now we have all of our variables for the front end. We have the recipient, we have the sender, we have the subject, and we have the message. Um, I do have a few styles that I want to add in just because it's a bit ugly. Um, I mean, well, it's going to be ugly anyways, but we want to make it a little bit less ugly. So we'll call this spacer. We'll give that a margin of 10, and we, we do that for the variables. Or we do that for in between the input values, just so that, you know, there's space in between uh, the actual boxes, the input boxes. And so we'll create another variable called const constant uh, text area. And we'll give that a border radius of four, just because the squares, it being like completely square, is a bit ugly. All right, so we'll save that, and we're actually going to open our React app. Oh, we got an error over here. Yeah, let me bring this over here. So as you can see, we have a compiling error. Um, why is that? Oh. I wasn't supposed to, okay, I wasn't supposed to have a comma right there. there go. It still failed to compile. State is not defined, sent email is not defined. That is weird. 